got a nasty reputation, Mr. Kitts. I like that. Thanks. If you were a bank president, that'd be one thing, but in your business, it's uh, admirable. And it's good advertising. Doesn't hurt. It's um, why you attract a client like my daughter. Probably. But I'm surprised you're still working for her, unless uh, she's suddenly come up with another husband. No. She happens to think the last one was murdered. Um, how'd she get that idea? I think I gave it to her. I hope you don't mind. I believe they should be served with the head. Fine. As long as you don't serve the chicken that way. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, um, what did the police say? They're calling it an accident. Who's the investigating officer? Lou Escobar. He's a lieutenant. You know him? Oh, yeah. Where from? We used to work together in Chinatown. <clears throat> Would you call him a capable man? Very. Honest? As far as it goes. Of course, he has to swim in the same water we all do. Of course, but you've no reason to think he's bungled the case. None. That's too bad. Too bad? Hmm. Disturbs me. It makes me think you're taking my daughter for a ride. Financially speaking, of course. What are you charging her? My usual fee. What's the bonus if I get results? Are you, uh, sleeping with her? Come, come, Mr. Gibbs. You don't have to think about that to remember, do you? If you want an answer to that question, Mr. Cross, I'll put one of my men on the job. Good afternoon. Mr. Gibbs. Giddis. Giddis. You're dealing with a disturbed woman who just lost her husband. I don't want her taken advantage of. Sit down. What for? You may think you know what you're dealing with, but believe me, you don't. Why is that funny? It's what the district attorney used to tell me in Chinatown. Yeah? Was he right? Exactly what do you know about me? Sit down. Mainly that you're rich. I'm too respectable to want your name in the newspapers. Of course I'm respectable. I'm old. Politicians, ugly buildings, and whores all get respectable if they last long enough. I'll double whatever your fee is and pay you $10,000 if you find Hollis's girlfriend. Girlfriend? Disappeared, hasn't she? Yeah. Wouldn't it be useful to talk to her? Maybe. If Mulray well, was murdered, she'd be one of the last to have seen him alive. When's the last time you saw Mulray? Sheriff's gold pass. Bunch of damn fools to pay. Five thousand dollars apiece towards the sheriff's re-election. I let him practice up out here. Yeah. Do you remember the last time you saw Mulray? Uh, my age, you uh, tend to forget. It was five days ago, outside the Pig and Whistle, and you had one hell of an argument. <clears throat> I got the pictures in my office, if that'll help you remember. What was the argument about? My daughter. What about her? Just find the girl. I happen to know Hollis was fond of her. I'd like to help her if I can. I had no idea you and Hollis were that fond of one another. Hollis Mulray made this city, and he made me a fortune. We were a lot closer than Evelyn realized. If you want to hire me, I still have to know what the argument was about. My daughter's a very jealous woman. I didn't want her to find out about the girl. How did you find out? I still got a few teeth left in my head and a few friends in town. OK. I'll, uh, I'll have my secretary draw up the papers. 
Tell me, uh, are you frightened for the girl or what Evelyn might do to her? Just find the girl. I'll look into it as soon as I've checked out some orange groves. Orange groves? We'll be in touch, Mr. Cross. <laughs>